quick tutorials. We don't waste time. Everything you need to know about keyframes. So we're in Premiere. I want everybody to be able to do this with me from home. So start a new sequence, it really doesn't matter, whatever you want. Make a new title and make it a circle or a square, whatever shape you want to do. Now we have a circle, cool. Stretch it out so you have some room to work with. For the beginners, this is where it's going to start to get pretty in depth. If you click on the title layer and you go up here to this tab that says effect controls, you can control all the video's effects like its positions and I mean anything, any effects you slide on there, right? So you can move it around but it stays in that spot for the whole video for the next 10 minutes or whatever it's going to be in that one spot let's say you want to make this title move from one spot to the other well if you come over here on this little stopwatch this turns on keyframing so you click on this little stopwatch and it drops a keyframe at that spot now what a keyframe is is it basically tells you okay at this point i want you to be right here so if you drop a keyframe here it's going to stay at that spot what you do is you come over here further on down the video, like five seconds later, and you drop another keyframe with this button right here on the side. And what it does is it's telling it again, be in this position. So you've dropped two keyframes, the first one saying be over here, and the second one saying be over here. What happens is you're telling the title to move from point A to point B, because in that space in between both those keyframes, it's going to be moving across the plane. So you see everywhere after this, it's saying at point B, B in this location. So it, it doesn't have any command after that. So what you do is you come over here a little bit further down, drop another keyframe and tell it to be in a different spot. And it will travel just like the way you told it to from point A to point B to point C in the amount of time that you told it to. Now this box that we're doing all these controls in is basically a close up of the layer and you can look at all the keyframes on it. So you can click and drag them further away to increase or decrease the time um, between the, uh, the point, a, point B and point C. You see what I did there between the second keyframe and the third keyframe. I dragged it out a little bit more so it takes more time. Now if you click on the title layer and see next to it there's this little down arrow. You can press that down arrow and it gives you options and you go down to motion and position which is what we're dealing with up there in the, the box above. That will show you basically the exact same thing as what, what's above. You can do it on the layer or you can do it up in the effects tab. It really gets the same result. You can slide them around, you can drag it out. You just don't have exact controls over the numbers. But if all you want to do is move them around and it's completely fine. You can also highlight all the keyframes at once and slide them around. Now here's a really big tip I wish somebody had told me like several years ago and it took me forever to figure it out. If you notice when we were sliding this thing around it was really jagged point A, B, C. And you don't always want it to go in a straight line and another straight line. And it looks kind of like robotic that way. What gives it a nice curvy feel where it, it's kind of a smooth movement where it like it kind of round and kind of speeds up and slows down nicely is if you highlight all the keyframes, you right click and you go down to keyframe interpolation. And you make this, see how it's linear? That's point A, point B, and point C. You make this continuous bezier. You also do the same thing with spatial interpolation and it'll give it a nice rounded like smooth feel. When you're adding more keyframes you can just uh, once you've dropped the first keyframe you can roll out to any spot and just move the numbers and it'll automatically drop a keyframe at that spot. Be careful of that because that can really mess you up. Remember if you have a keyframe at any one frame and you go to a different frame and change its position or its opacity whatever it's gonna there's gonna be like a, a change between the first keyframe and the second keyframe it works the same with opacity it works the same with all the other functions pretty much everything in after effects is based off of this uh... if you want to get rid of all the keyframes on a layer all you have to do is go back and click the stop watch and most of the time it'll warn you it'll say it's gonna delete all the keyframes that's fine if you want to do that what can also mess you up is make sure that you're out on the frame with the actual keyframe on it because if you're one frame over and you drop another keyframe or make any changes to it at all what's going to happen is you're going to see a change between a that first keyframe and the second keyframe and then the one that you have one second later so you have to zoom in and always make sure that you're on the keyframe there's a little arrow next to the keyframe button there's a little left and right arrow you click those arrows to basically jump you to the next keyframe like the closest keyframe to you so they help a lot you can throw it anywhere on the timeline and then just hit that little arrow and it'll take you to the keyframe giant time saver super helpful make sure you do that or your crap is going to be screwed up and that's all i got to say about that my name is alex harris thank you for listening this has been a quick tutorial